Good day, brethren. You are welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General of our Sea of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboe. And I pray that you join me today. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 28th April 2024, we'll be looking at the topic, Give Thanks. A memory verse is taken from Psalms 136 verse 1, which says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For his good, for his mercy, endure it forever. Uh, text is taken from Psalms 100, from verses 1 to 5. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is good. It is he that made us, that had made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endure it to all generations. Our passage says, The reason Solomon was extremely grateful to God in Second Chronicles chapter 1, verses 6 to 12 is that he realized that he didn't deserve to be king. His father was an adulterer and his mother an adulteress. His father was also a murderer who murdered his mother's first husband. How could God pick the fruit of such a union and make him king? Solomon indeed had every reason to be grateful. If you look at your life closely, you will also see that you don't deserve many of the things that God has given to you, including your life. I think you should really give thanks to him. So if we look at ourselves, uh, sometimes, you know, we may not think we are where we want to be, but we are better off than a lot of people. And we are even better off than where we might have imagined would have been. And so it's very imperative that we are constantly giving thanks to God. There are so many people who deserve the opportunities that we have and they do not have them. There are so many people who have lost their lives um, under circumstances that we should have even, uh, under circumstances that, you know, um, um, was not of their own making. But God has preserved us. There are always several and thousands and millions of reasons for us to thank God. So we, we, we need to reflect, look at our lives, look at how far God has brought us, look at the mighty miracles God has done in our lives, look at His mercy, the mercy has shown to, you know, you and I, and we should really give thanks to God. Our Father and Lord is saying, when people see me dancing in Agbada at least once a year to praise God in my mother tongue, many of them do not understand. The day I asked God how he could choose the product of a sinful relationship like Solomon to be king, he also asked me, is your, is your mother the first wife of your father? I had no questions because based on the circumstances surrounding my birth, I didn't I don't deserve to be called the past I don't deserve to be called to pastor a sheep. I am always grateful to God because to whom much is given, much is required, according to Luke twelve forty eight. Even the fact that I am here in this world is something to be grateful for. My mom had made up her mind she wasn't having any more children because she already had as as many girls as she wanted and a boy. However, the boy died, and people begged her to give back birth again. She agreed, and I was born. Coming from that background, and also considering all the sins I had committed before giving my life to Christ, it is a privilege that God will save a soul like mine and make me a pastor. So I know why I dance and sing praises to my God. So see, our Father and the Lord, taking us down memory lanes and giving us reasons why he needs to give thanks to God. And talking about his background, you know, he came from a polygamous home. His mom was not the first wife. And so if if, if people were to be chosen as pastors, he should not be one of them because of the way or the union by which he came. But God, out of his mercy, chose him. And then he looked at, you know, the fact that his mom never even wanted to have children before she had him, have any more children before she had him. But she was convinced to, and she gave birth to him. And he's the one God has chosen to lead one of the fastest growing churches in the world. Same as the fact that, you know, he lived a sinful life before he came to the knowledge of Christ. And God saved him and turned his life around. So he has reasons to give thanks. If you and I also look at our own lives, where we are coming from, our background, the situation surrounding our birth, um, our sinful lifestyle before we met Christ. Several reasons we have to give thanks to God for how far he has brought us and for even saving our souls and making us um, one of his own. 
when we say let us thank God, those who feel that they deserve everything they they have don't see the importance. For some of them, they believe God chose them because he had no choice and so they don't bother. However, for some of us, we know where we are coming from and the things we survived. I grew up among scorpions, snakes and all sorts of wild animals and was surrounded by witches, wizards and the rest. For me to have survived in that kind of environment, I cannot keep quiet when it is time to thank God. Will you do the same? So, uh, we should not be like those who think that they are deserving of everything they have gotten in life. No one is deserving. It's, it has been out of the mercy of God that we are not consumed. No one is deserving. It is out of God's mercy that we are where we are today. So, like I said, let's go through the day thinking to ourselves, you know, uh, reflecting and, you know, taking stock of the years we have lived and the situations and circumstances we have passed through and where God has brought us to. And even where God is taking us to, we may not know, but of course the plans and the thoughts that he has towards us are thoughts of good and not of evil to give us a future and a hope. And I'm very sure if we take stock of our life, we'll have more than enough reason to constantly thank God. Our action point says throughout today, just keep thanking God for all he has done for you. So spend the day thanking God for all he has done for you. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word that has come to us today. We thank you, O God, for how far you have brought us. Thank you for our past. Thank you for our present. Thank you for our future. We ask, Lord, that you grant us that spirit of gratitude, that spirit of of thanking you always. Give it to us. Help us to constantly thank you for all you've done for us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.